my top 12 products of 2012. I seriously can't even believe the year is over with. It went by so, so fast. Like, it was crazy. It went by so fast. But, yeah, this is created by Sweet BDX. And so, yeah, let's just get into it. This product is a face wash, and that is Cetaphil. I absolutely love this face wash. This is my second or third one this year. I'm so obsessed with it. It has cleared up my skin so, so much, and it's, I don't know, it's amazing. And I definitely recommend this if you have acne-prone skin, because seriously, like, I tried all the harsh, like, benzoyl peroxide things, like, tons of stuff, and it all just... It worked for a little bit and then it wouldn't work anymore, but then I started using Cetaphil and Cetaphil doesn't have any like other harsh, harsh chemicals in it like that and I don't break out hardly at all anymore. So I definitely love this and will continue to use it until I don't even know how long. My next face product is this Rimmel Clean Finish Foundation. I use this almost all year, except for in the summer I use my BB cream most of the time, but I use this foundation all year. Um, it's really gone pretty much this is a really good foundation if you're on a tight budget i just bought it to try it because it was like four dollars and it really does it works amazing um it's a really great foundation if you're on a tight budget so this is a really great second category is cheap products and the first one i have is this nyx cream blush <clears throat> in boho chic i use this so much i hit pan on it pretty nicely and this is so, so great. It was great in the summertime. It's, I don't know, it's always great. I really use this in the summertime and a lot in the spring just because it's a very light pink color and it, it goes well with that kind of time. So I absolutely love these. And the next product is my NARS um, Duo. And so I guess it's kind of like three products, but I'm counting it as two. And this is just the bronzer and the um, Orgasm Blush. I've used this so so much and I got this halfway through the year but I've used it so much. Next category is eye products and a lot of you probably chose the Naked Palette but one of the ones that I chose was my um, Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. I depotted it into this little thing here but I literally like screwed this thing over. Um, Honey Pot is completely gone. Push Up is like hit pan. Heaven's Hit Pan, Silk Teddy's Hit Pan, this, um, what is this, Erotica, I think, and Sexpresso are almost a pan, this one is almost a pan, it's just, I love this thing, and I still use it every single day, it's what I use for my eyes, and I just love this palette. Then the next product I chose was the Naked Palette, because this was the other palette that I reached for every single day, if I wasn't reaching for my Too Faced palette. It just has the best colors for every single day. Um, my most colors that I used were Sin, Naked, Buck, and Half Baked. Um, I use those so, so much, and basically every single day I really like using matte eyeshadows with a shimmery just on my lid. I love this palette for that. Um, it's just a great, great palette. The next category is lip products, and the first lip products that I chose were the Revlon Lip Butters in general. I just love these. They're amazing and they're moisturizing. My lips get so dry so easily. I have this one in Cupcake, which I used a ton this year. This was my very first one, and I think I got it, I don't know, I, I got it around like right when they came out, and I love this. And then this one is in Raspberry Pi, which was like my staple for the winter, and the fall is just an amazing color. And I, these are my favorite colors in their whole collection. I really like a few more that I really want to try, but I don't really have money right now, so that's not really going to happen. But I really love these. And the next product are just EOSs in general. Also, I, oh, almost dropped it. I love these so, so much. They're very moisturizing. They're easy to throw in your purse or your bag. Um, I have this one. It's, it's a raspberry one strawberry something and a melon one. I also have the mint one, but I think it's in my backpack. But I love these and I think they're great. The next category is nail products. And the first one that I chose was this Nail Aid One Step Harder Nails 3 Minute Artificials. And this is a new one. I just got it yesterday because I ran out of my old one. It looks like this and it's kind of a pink tint. This is a really great base coat and top coat. It's seriously insanely amazing your nail polish will not chip for at least a week like I'm not even kidding this is so amazing and I think it's like five dollars I got it at Walmart and it's, it's amazing I love it so so and then my next nail product is this Essie color in turquoise and Caicos I use this so much this year um, it's 
crazy. If it wasn't shaken up, you'd see it's like probably halfway down. I love this color to death. It's just such a pretty color for any time of the year pretty much, except for like in the winter, that wouldn't really work. It's a really, really great color for like the spring and the summer and I just love this color and yeah. The last category is hair products. And the first one is this Proclaim Glossing Polish. I got this from Sally's. It's just a small one. It was like under $5, I think. But this stuff is amazing. This stuff and the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum, which I ran out a while ago. This is pretty much the exact same thing. Um, it works the same. It smells the same. And it's so much cheaper. Um, yeah, there's not really much of a smell to it, which I like because I really like to smell my shampoo and conditioner. But this is amazing and I can't stress enough how amazing this is and I will definitely continue to repurchase this and my last product is this one and only argan straightener I got this last year for Christmas and I seriously used it so much if all else failed and I didn't know what to do with my hair that day or I didn't feel like curling it or doing anything with it straightening my hair takes like 10 minutes it's so easy and this was just really really great I use this I don't even know how many times um, the writing is rubbing off it's it's insane I love this straightener and it's seriously it's held up so so nice I also got this at Sally's and I'll have a link below for it if you want to get it it's amazing I also did a review on it last year like way long ago I think it was like my second video or something and that is still up if you guys want to check that out but I love this straightener so I want to thank you guys for watching I hope you guys have had a great 2012 and I hope you guys continue to have a great 2013 look up for the next few days or week I'm going to be launching my new series called fit and fab so I hope you guys have a great rest of the day rest of the year whatever I will see you guys in my next video